an average day in a waste pickers li- life starts very early in the morning like 4 o'clock in the morning and they go on to work uh, walk up to like 10 kilometers to 15 kilometers a day to pick up just few uh, kgs of recyclables which fetches them a very meager sum of money these are people who are living in very difficult conditions they don't have access to any social security they are one of the most vulnerable communities who even don't have proper housing systems sanitation systems the children most of the times because they have to move from one place to other uh, they uh, also uh, don't get to enroll to school so right now the city has about 35000 such people they don't get noticed for the work that they do they are invisible people invisible environmentalist if you can say my name is Inda and I'm part of this uh, non-profit called as Hasirudala. We are based in uh, Bangalore and uh, five cities across uh, Karnataka. We work with waste pickers in these cities and we look at their uh, holistic development of uh, say social security as well as livelihoods. What we do is we try to uh, find a waste picker who has potential to uh, become an entrepreneur. Uh, we give them training, we handhold him and support him uh, for the training. Uh, and once he's, the person is ready, we hand over a dry waste collection center to them, which are decentralized waste collection systems at a ward level. These are public-private partnership uh, uh, models where a DWCC is given by the BBNP. Uh, the first party uh, to sign the agreement is the waste picker and the third party is the NGO. So we plan out these routes for them, like which uh, day they have to go to which route for collection of waste. So once um, uh, these, uh, sen- uh, this waste gets into the centres, there's unprecedented levels of sorting that happens here, where the dry waste is also sorted into non-recyclable uh, dry waste and recyclable dry waste. We try to look at uh, the regularized markets where these people can get fair prices for the recyclables that are they, that they are selling. And a lot of people with their collection efficiency have actually uh, come to a level where their personal journeys have changed. Like uh, Mansoor's case, who uh, used to run a small scrap shop in a uh, small uh, neighborhood in Banshankri, now runs a center. Now his kids go to school. My name is Mansoor. I manage 168 Pattabhi Ramnagar Drivers Collection Center. Ko manage karta मेरी टीम टोटल अभी 12 आदमी की टीम है उसके बाद मेरा टोटल अभी व्हीकल यहां पे तीन व्हीकल है तो आज मैं सवेरे 7 बजे से लगभग 12 1 बजे तक डोर टू डोर कलेक्शन करता हूं शुरुआत किया था एक व्हीकल में 25 घर से उसके बाद धीरे-धीरे धीरे-धीरे 2050 घर में जाने लगे सो एट द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वी लुक एट द होलिस्टिक development of a waste picker. So we start with the social security aspect. So we started developing a module on financial literacy so that they understand the importance of saving systems, banking systems and what are the systems or loans which they can uh, avail uh, for their business. What has happened is now we have replicated this in elsewhere in the state and uh, we have seen what model that we have done is easily replicable in any city by anybody. And also in places where Hasrudala is not there or any other group that to work with waste picker is not there, the city themselves are doing. When we started working in these wards, there was only 25 to 30 percent of segregation that was happening. Now we have come to a level where there are about 60 percent segregation levels. There are about 35 centers right now which are managed by waste pickers and there are about 13 of them are women who are managing these center and in each center uh, there are about uh, on an average 5 to 20 people who are working in the centers as collectors, drivers and helpers. I want to see someday happening where uh, there is 100% segregation of waste at the ward levels so that we will maximize this larger goal of uh, more waste getting diverted from the landfills. If more and more waste is coming to the centres where these waste pickers, informal workers work, it's more and more livelihood and predictable income for these people.